Hey everyone, today I'd like to introduce you the biggest antique market in Korea. Do you like antique? I certainly do. Well, I'd rather call them old things than antiques because they are just ordinary things that were surrounding our ancestors. I know maybe this big Buddha head look like a little bit far distance away, but I mean, if you were in the certain cultural zone that could be just the ordinary thing that you can see every day, right? So I would just call antiques as old things. Now I am at the Tapshimni Antique Market near from Tapshimni Station, line number 5 and that is really a kind of a place uh, like blocks of antique shops all together in the same area and then the things they handle in this market are from Korea of course and uh, things from China as well really little portion of them are from Southeast Asia These blocks of shops has uh, each of them has really unique and um, different kinds of stuff they got uh, according to the owner's character. So if you are unless if you you have something that you need, you, if you want to just have a look around and wander around, you just have some enough time. That would be a good idea to come. Oh, these are the big pots for uh, to store some kimchi during the winter, also soy sauce or denjang or gochujang, Korean special paste sauce. And this is the tower. And these are, I think these are from probably from the tombs or something. And of course, uh, they are 12, uh, 12 animals representing the year you know in uh, a ancient Asian counting method which year are you from did you manage to find your animal I did okay let's have a look inside coca-cola bottles old phone, lamp, old typewriter, many things and if you actually get in the shop you can see lots of these old pretty things inside of the shop and many of them are actually in use well pretty much everything I would say and the age it becomes from the like tens of years, it goes up to thousand years actually from Shilla Dynasty. Yeah, the oldest thing you can find are probably from Shilla Dynasty. The reason I am visiting here was of course as a tea lover, I wanted to find a nice teacup. Quite old one, I would like to. And yes, it's like a hidden gem. It's like a treasure hunting, so you have to look for really, really hard to find the perfect thing or perfect match that in your needs, you know. And well, I would say I was not having a, a great luck about it. Although I really, really 
enjoyed watching old things. Grey vessels in the top shelf looks very old. And look at how colorful these are. And this is uh, for making rice cake. They they have a shape in on it. And if you're a big fan of Buddha, you can find decent Buddha statue or Buddha head. Th those are actually very old. And this shop has lots of uh, mixed things all together inside. I always wish I were rich whenever I come to this market because simply there are so many things that I would want to buy. Although, well, today I wanted to buy a teacup and I couldn't find it. So I just wander around and talk to the owners. Pretty much everything. Life and just uh, sometimes even I ask the life wisdom question even. <laughs> and you know what? They actually give me the answer. That's quite amazing. Now I am heading to home. <sighs> it was so such a fun. I like seeing all these old things and everything. So how did you think about it? Did you like the antiques of Korea? Well, I say Asia. Hope you did. And um, guess it's time to go home and have dinner and relax. Thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video, press the like button and consider subscribing and I will see you next time. <laughs>